Okay, today's video is going to be a few clips in Skiafos when we went in July 2018, so enjoy the clips. Okay, as you can see, this is our hotel room we had in Scaffold's Blue. This is a standard room. We just have a bed and your shower room and a tiny little area to put your clothes away. The room is quite comfortable enough. It is quite small. Um, it's bigger than some of the other rooms we've seen, but the actual hotel is gorgeous. It's up on a hill with quite a lot of steps to get down to the actual beach. As you can see in some of these pictures in the hallways and that, it is very lovely. Okay, this hotel does come with an all-inclusive and half-board option. We flew with Tui. So if you need to have a look, have a look on their website. Hey, this beach you are viewing now, this is Mandraki Beach on Skiafos. It is 15 kilometers northwest of Skiafos town. Um, the island's pretty small anyway, you can get round it so easily, so it's well worth firing a car while you're here. And obviously seeing this clip, you can tell we, we didn't take videos or vlog much at that. So you can see yeah. it's just enjoying the Hi. thing. This beach is so worth visiting, it is so quiet. You can drive up off-road. We had a little hire car, they recommended not driving off dirt roads. But however, I did try it and we nearly got the car stuck, so we just left it and leg um, didn't leg it, because it was hot. We walked through the pine forest, which was about... Half hour walk, which is really nice just to get uh -huh. to this beach, and it's so worth it. The water's cold because Skafos on the Aegean Sea, so it's nothing like the Mediterranean in the summer. But um, if anyone's going to be visiting Skafos, I would highly recommend this beach if you ever get a chance to go. This is the Skafos <laughs> dog shelter, they house over 170 plus dogs in this shelter, and they actively encourage you. There's a part basically you see in a minute where we're picking up puppies where you can handle them. Obviously helps them to rehome them where they get future new homes. Uh, they do sell this as part of a tour with some of the tour guys where you get to go view the puppies. Maybe a chance to adopt one if you like. As you can see these puppies, these are ones you can handle and that which they actively encourage. But uh, the tour part of this where you get to go to a little um, Greek family hotel restaurant run thing and eat some awesome greek food this trip is well worth it i love animals and dogs as it is so this is so worth doing If anyone doesn't know who are big massive Mamma Mia fans, this beach is Castani Beach which is used for some of the famous scenes out of Mamma Mia. Uh, this is part of a Mamma Mia tour which is highly worth recommending. This is an absolutely stunning beach. And this beach we're on now is actually part of the Mamma Mia trip. This beach wasn't used for anything. But uh, we did get a view on this tour of the very famous church where can't remember the girl's name who got married at the end of the first Mamma Mia film 
which you're going to see a clip of in a second now. This is just a view from what you're seeing now of the top of the church. So this is this is a great trip. You listen to Mamma Mia music all day. This is so worth it. <laughs> As you can see here by our faces, this is a actual tourist attraction you can do in Seattle. We stand at the end of the runway where the planes are coming over your head like this. Uh, it seems really close when they're coming over your head. And then obviously when they're taking off, you see the jet blast riders. I was standing in good position. We actually got a video of someone walking into the, the water just to the right of where the guy is in a white shirt. It's actually a funny clip. But we don't actually have it. As you can see, some people, they'll start running away but everyone does is this is a thing you can do it's free park up there's a little bar on your left hand side we can buy drinks you can see what time the flights are in they call this the St Martin of the Mediterranean it is awesome if anyone who can't afford to go to St Martin or anything because it is quite hard to get to with flights and everything this is such an easy way to do it and it's so good just being blown about like this <laughs> look at the guy oh, that was hilarious I shouldn't even be laughing while I'm doing a voice over for this but, um, oh, this is just wicked. It, it, this was awesome doing this. Uh, just the, the adrenaline rush, thinking them tyres are going to hit your head like this plane coming in now. It's just absolutely insane. If anyone is going to Seattle, I would highly recommend this. I don't know if you can get buses there, but it's not too far from the town. Like I said, the island's quite short anyway. But if you have a car, uh, where we're staying in Seattle, Blue is only about a 10 minute drive. I think you can get around the whole island within about 40 minutes tops. So enjoy these little clips. <laughs> so let's have a look at this. Oh, someone's in a wedding dress down there. Well done guys for getting to the end of another video. If you do like our videos, please give us a subscribe at the end. You'll see it at the end on the end screen. Um, but we will see you next week for our videos of Mauritius. We're going to add our ones, uh, some little photos and little clips of us getting married as well within the next two to three weeks of when they go out. So we'll see you next week. Bye.